So good evening, everybody. My name is Adrian Alvarez. This is my wife, Tanya. We have three children. The third is uh, in there. But uh, we, uh, we have Liliana, Mateo, and Damien. Uh, I pray that you are joyful right now because of the encounter that you're going to have with Jesus Christ during the Mass today. Uh, you might be asking yourself, you know, who is this person talking and why should I listen to him? Well, I want to let you know a little bit about myself and my family and the wonderful things that God has done in my life. I was raised uh, Catholic in Jalisco, the country of Mexico. I served there as an altar boy for a number of years. I was one of t only two in the whole town. Um, and I participated with the local seminary in early uh, formation program. Uh, my family moved to Colorado Springs in 1997, and we attended the parish of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Uh, in the year 2000, I enlisted in the Marine Corps, where my religious life was not as faithful as I would have liked. That's to put it lightly. Um, but God was still with me. After a, um, a tour in Iraq in the year 2003, I returned to the United States and uh, moved back to Colorado. Um, once I got out of the military, uh, Tanya was born and raised here in Colorado Springs. She's a cradle Catholic, and she made it to Mass when she could, but she was definitely here on, on Easter and Christmas. Um, our relationship with God wasn't the best in our early adulthood. We got married here at St. Gabriel 11 years ago. Uh, we've uh, baptized both of our children here at this parish, and our third will, all, will also be uh, baptized here. That's heads up, Father. <laughs> Um, both of us attended Mass because that's what a good Catholic was supposed to do, but we never realized the depth of the Mass and the grandeur of God's love for us until we started getting involved in one of the ministries here at St. Gabriel, the Neocatechumenal Way. Uh, about three years into our marriage, uh, we didn't have any kids. Uh, we started having issues in our marriage to the point where we hurt each other with our words and with our actions. It was so bad that uh, we considered divorce, and we were about to become another statistic um, I remember one of my prayers. I said, you know, Lord, I'm about to lose this life that you have granted me. I say, may our sins not uh, hurt one another. And I said, you know, I surrender. At least right now I surrender. And through the grace of God and the support that we received through this ministry, God saved our marriage. And we were, we were able to, to forgive each other and to reconcile. Um, but because of that crisis, we grew closer to God and to each other and, and grew in prayer. And we've been active participants in the ministry for 11 years, and obviously, God has blessed our marriage with these little fruits that we call children. So, in gratitude to the Lord, I threw myself into multiple ministries so that uh, I might serve where God wanted. Um, I was head of the Hispanic ministry. I participated in the pastoral council. Uh, I gave the baptismal prep classes in Spanish, and I trained uh, the extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion for the Spanish Mass. I saw the welcoming nature of the communities and the growth of St. Gabriel's, um, I saw the desire to want to make the, the, the parish a more welcoming place for all. And through the baptismal prep, the desire to grow in faith and to seek out personal growth. I have witnessed a man who was angry in general because he was constantly struggling with his health issues. Over time, I saw him turn from anger to praise and love for Jesus in spite of his struggles. I witnessed forgiveness and healing through these ministries, broken marriages that have been healed, by the support God provides through the ministry members. The ministries at St. Gabriel are such a blessing and a resource uh, to be able to become closer to God and also closer to those that share our same faith. Once we were pregnant with our second, I stepped down from a few ministries in order to tend to my most important ministry of all, the domestic church. I still continue to teach baptismal prep uh, in Spanish, and I serve as an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion while continuing to walk in the Neocatechumenal Way community. Uh, through these, I have gone out to evangelize and tell the people about the love of God in my life. My family and I follow the words of Pope Francis to go out and evangelize. We attempt to be instruments of God. We also try to have an active relationship with our parish pastor. In all gratitude and obedience, I, I can claim no credit for any of this. God has been good, and if he can bring me back in my sinfulness, he can do it for each one of us. Not only have I seen God working through these ministries, I can sincerely say that God has worked in my life and made a true difference. So thank you so much for listening, and God bless you. Thank you, Adrian.
Wow, huh? Wonderful. And, you know, it's not just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, as pastor, I'm so blessed because I get to hear these stories and know these families uh, every day. So for me, it's, uh, I'm always surrounded by the good news and, and the results of God's, uh, God's work in people's lives. Um, so, uh, but I would, uh, you know, as we, we talked about, you know, this stuff is something we want to continue to be able to do, continue to, to grow upon and make sure that uh, our impact in our community uh, continues to be very much like what they described, uh, not only for us, but for those that are out there who have yet to even encounter Christ. Uh, that's, those are the ones that we're, we're still trying to uh, bring into our, our community so that they can fill these empty spots in the pews and be our brothers and sisters as we grow together in faith. So uh, as, as I mentioned last week, I hope uh, many of you received in the mail your uh, little flyer uh, with, the, with the card. And, uh, you know, I hope you had a chance to pray about it and read it and, and uh, fill it out and maybe even mail it in. If you didn't, we're, we're today we're going to uh, make a, uh, take a moment to, to pray and to um, prepare these cards and to collect them uh, here in just a moment. So if you can uh, help sp spread those around, they're in the little pocket up front and there's some pencils there. And, uh, you know, what I, I asked last week was that we try to get 100% you know, that all of us are part of this, and uh, at whatever, in whatever way that the Holy Spirit moves you to respond. And so, uh, even if you already mailed your card in today, uh, or have turned it in in another way, we want you to just fill it out again. It, we won't double it, you know, that kind of thing, but we, we want to, everybody to have an opportunity to uh, participate and offer their, offer their offering today in the collection.